the, the, my first part of my question, you can just answer with a yes or no. Do you know for 100% fact that you are a born again believer of Jesus Christ and that when you die, you will meet him face to face in a right relationship? Yes. You do. Okay. Let me yes, ask sir. you this. One quick question. Well, my last part of my question is this. Let me, ba can I, can you, can you, uh, I don't want to interrupt your question, but can you, <clears throat> will you remember your question? Because this sure, is what I absolutely. think. Sure, I, I think that I fall extremely short. And I don't believe in this blind faith that I can run around here willy-nilly doing what I want, committing sins, repenting left and right, and think that there is going to be a place for me in heaven. No, I don't believe that. But, do I, but at the same time, I do believe that, um, that there, is a, there, there is an understanding that, uh, and only thing I've ever asked, you know, just, you know, I, I, I don't, I, there's no place for me or anybody else I've ever known in heaven not in the heaven that there's that that is that is indoctrinated into us no what is heaven great question i think heaven <clears throat> i'm not even sure at this point it could even be obtained here on earth outside of just the individual for one um what is heaven maybe a perfect peace a perfect understanding no fear no, no strife. What is, what, is karma, what is karma and reincarnation? Well, karma, I suppose, would be um, a backlash of sins that were committed. So you're paying a price for that. Um, is that? Go ahead. And uh, reincarnation, um, as I understand it, would be um, you, you go into a re reincarnation cycle. Um, so in other words, you would be coming back because well, why would, why would I want to come back? Let me ask you a question. Why would I want to come back here and be potty trained again? You, nobody would want to. Okay. The Bible says but we don't have, but we are being, I believe that we are being kept from the information that is needed so that we can, um, we can bypass that cycle of reincarnation because we're going to keep on, you know, because it's possible, I believe, that we're going to keep on coming back until we learn the lesson. I think that's what so, separates the old souls from the new ones. So it's nothing but hopelessness, right? You know, the Bible does say that it is appointed unto a man once to die, then the judgment. That tells me that the living word of God, the true word of God, the living word of God that Jesus had spoken is saying that once we draw our last breath, there is a destiny and a judgment's concealed. Either we're judged to go to heaven or we're judged to go to hell. And people go to hell not because God sends them there. It's because you and I send ourselves there. We go to heaven because we chose that. And we and humbly come before Jesus Christ asking for forgiveness. So how could we come back here and, and be an animal or be another human being? Sister, I've been around a lot of witchcraft in my life. I grew up around it. I know it. And this is a common teaching of witchcraft and occultism and Satanism. Mm -hmm. I think it's also a common teaching of the Gnostic Gospels that predates Christianity. The Gnostic Gospel is New Age. I've read it. It is New Age. It comes right out of the New Age. It comes right out of Wicca teaching of mysticism. It is New Age. The Gnostic Gospel is written by Satan himself. Amen. Well, we'll have to agree to disagree on that. No, it's no, that's not to agree to disagree because I, I am not a socialist, so I'm not going to even accept that state. It, the people who say that is because they just got caught with a lie, and now they're trying to cover up their lie, and they want to admit the truth. Well, how am I covering up a lie and not admitting you, you the just truth? Agree to disagree. That's covering up a lie. You're, you're not even willing to listen to the truth. You have staged your opinion. You have said, I got the truth, and you guys are all wrong, and this is just floating no, around. No, everybody. sir. No, sir. That's not what I'm saying at all. That's not what I'm saying at all, and I apologize if I've led you to believe that. Um, what I am saying is that there's more to this than what, that has, that what has been revealed to us. That's all I'm simply saying. Um, that's all I'm simply saying. As well, if there's more than what's been revealed. That's all. Yeah, the not. And I would not ever post. I would never put forth an arrogance to say I know everything there is to know. 
I well, have I won't do that, but, I'll, but I'll tell you this, out of the debate, the Gnostic Gospel, along with the Aquarius Bible and several other ones, are doctrines of demons. They come right out of the occult world. And they're sucking people into it left and right, and we will pay the consequences if we keep following that, that particular doctrine and teaching. Well, and we there will, you uh, go with that again. Occult simply means hidden or secret knowledge. Which that is of Jesus Satan. Him, that Jesus the himself, Satan, Jesus Satan, himself admits to using Satan. parables. No, which is of Satan. Jesus spoke in parables to get his point across to his apostles. But those parables were revealed in later life. As Paul said, I revealed you the mysteries, those hidden mysteries that because if Christ was to reveal some of those mysteries, then Satan would have had his way and Jesus would have never hung on the cross. The, the Gnostic gospel or the Aquarian Bible is of the dark kingdom, of Satan's kingdom, and he's out there deceiving people. Sister, I've read too much on this. I've studied too much on this. I know what it's about. I know what it involves. And you're and assuming I, that nobody else has? No, I'm not assuming that no one else has. But all of us who are pretty much in agreement on this teaching tonight is here, and we all come in agreement but you. It's not that I don't agree with what you're saying. It's that I believe that there are hidden truths that have been kept from us that, has, that keeps us separated from God and is apparent in society. That's all I'm saying. Who, who kept those hidden truths from us? Those that would benefit from doing just that. Tell me one The Sadducees, the Pharisees, the Roman Empire, who also created what we know as Christianity. For, for, and those are three examples. Mm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ask you. A question it does here. not benefit them. Mm -hmm. It does not. It does not benefit the powers that be. That they know. That we know, rather, that indeed the power of Christ is 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 within all of us. It is obtainable to all of us. It is attainable to everybody. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Is it attainable to all people? All of us, yes. All of us is God's so, children. So you're saying, you're saying there's many roads to heaven, right? No, there's one truth. It's getting to the bottom of that truth. That. But how can, we get to, how can we get to the bottom of that truth? If we have all this out there, God has given us the truth, and that is in his holy Bible. There is nothing other than that. It's 100% accurate. And there's nothing been added and nothing been taken. Now, there was somebody who wanted to ask you a question. And okay. If he's willing, let him ask, ask you his question. Yeah. Thank you. I just, I, I just got something to say here. And, and uh, who do you say who the Holy Spirit is? You know, I, on that note, I just, there's, there's a purpose and there's a point behind what I'm saying. I'm just a, I'm a simple man here. You know, I, I'm not very highly intelligent in how like, I know everything about this. Like I said, I came from basically not believing in anything that I was just here, you know, to suffer and to die. But, and uh, boy, I thank you for Jesus for showing me the truth. But anywho, I just want to ask you, who is the Holy Spirit to you? Hmm. Oh, what is the Holy Spirit to me? What isn't it? It's, it's, it's everything. The Holy Spirit is everything. It's the very essence of this entire planet, of this, of this universe. It's the very essence of this entire universe. I think it dwells within each and every one of us. I think it dwells within the animals and, and the waters and the lands and the skies. I think it's a frequency. A frequency. A perfect frequency. A frequency, as a matter of fact, that, that is, has the power to heal people. There, is, there, are, there are mountaintops on this planet where sick people can go, and the frequencies alone will heal their body. Mm. I, got, I got something to say about that, too. You say it's a, uh, he's a frequency. I, I don't believe that because it's interesting how when Jesus Christ, when he was talking to, uh, to his uh, 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 disciples, that he had to go because he was going to go be with the Father, and he had to go in order for the Holy Spirit to come down. So I believe that what also the scripture says, that the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth, okay? He leads us to all truth. Who and what is truth? 
Jesus Christ. Anything I believe he had to go because he was telling, he was getting people roused up by telling them the truth. That's why he had to go. He had to go because he was a troublemaker, so to speak. This man posed a gigantic threat to the powers of that be of that day. Here we go again. For that. Yeah. Uh, as much as I studied on witchcraft and occultism, it says, and what I've learned is they really believe that Jesus is evil and that the Holy Spirit is, is dead. And here, this again, how, you know, if the Holy Spirit has been taken out of here, why are we all here? Why are we I don't still think here? The Holy, I don't think the Holy Spirit has been taken out of here. I think, I guess, I, I guess the best way is just, is it's left us impotent um, by way of just of, of omitting so much information that we can only get so close to God in, re, in, re, in reality. That's why we're supposed to seek and, and, and find. Not in the okay, so, so you're saying, so in order to find God, as you you discern it, do we have to kind of go up to his level to understand who he is? I think it's a lifelong seeking, yes. No, it's now, not a lifelong seeking. To his, to, to his level, um, do, I plan on leaving, do I plan on leaving this uh, planet, you know, well, a Christ? And, no, I don't. Anne-Marie, Anne first off, we can't elevate ourselves up to God to please him. He came down to us in the form of a man named Jesus. He came down to us. And he yeah. gave his life for us on the cross. Jesus Christ, who is Emmanuel, God with us. He is our governor. He is our king. Now, anything different, we can't go there. Now, we've spoken a lot about what you want. There's other people who want to ask questions, too, to me. Would you allow me to have that? Um, just for the record, I was originally brought into this conversation through a question. So I'm not trying to hold this platform from anybody. Please forgive me if, if that's what you are thinking. Okay. I'm not thinking of that. But there's other people who want to ask questions. We, we talked a lot and debated a lot on what you feel. But there's other people who got questions they wanted to ask me. Well, that's fine. That's great. I'd like okay. to hear them. Johnny, you mentioned earlier that you wanted to talk about something. Yeah, Joe, I was just wanting, you know, I, I enjoyed um, your Incubus Succubus teaching. The other day. I didn't get a chance to tune in personally. I missed you on that. I was, I was tied up. I went back and listened to it. Um, <clears throat> I, I, one of the areas that I'd like for you to discuss or we, we discuss here in the group, everybody have a little input, is, um, you know, we talk about the, the, I guess, the rate or the percentage of divorces uh, I'm just going to say here in America, because we used to differentiate that. We'd say, well, inside the church, it's this. Outside the church, it's that. I don't think a lot of the numbers are real accurate. I don't think inside the church, it's as high as many people claim it is, but it's still higher than it, way higher than it should be. What role do you think a lot of these things play in, uh, I guess, bringing about the divorce issues that we're seeing in a lot of the things? Because we know that... Um, uh, I mean, of course, everybody that's, I'm guessing it's in this group, we understand the concept that, you know, Satan is, he hates the family because that, you know, God, it was one of the first things God created was the family. And uh, he came against to, to bust that up. So I, I guess what I'm saying is this, is that how often do you see these things as a major instigator or a major problem in divorce issues? And I know you've, like I said, you're, you're uh, as a pastor, um, and even myself as a pastor, we've seen these things when people come in for counseling and what boils to the surface, it seems, is that there's always a, um, there's, there's a devil hiding somewhere. Sometimes you can share that with the people, sometimes you can't. And, um, but I was just curious as to what, you know, from that spin, because divorce just seems to be growing and growing. Of course, a lot of that has to do with there's such a devaluation of the family, but um, would you speak a little bit to that tonight? Maybe just jot that down. Um, along with the other stuff that you would want to share about continuing with that incubus succubus teaching. I'm going to mute myself okay. now, brother. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's a good question. Really good question, Johnny. Um, divorce, and the more I've studied about incubus succubus, people are coming to premarital sex, are exposed to pornography, masturbation, uh, even children who are incest or molested. It opens them up to a sexual slave demon. Normally is that particular demon. The reason why we're having the divorce rates so high is because there's a lot of, you know, spiritual husbands and wives 
in men and women that do not want to have marriage. Satan, I mean, even in the Garden of Eden, Satan tried to destroy marriage then. And when he tried to destroy it, I mean, it didn't work. And let's get to Cain and Abel. Here we got the first murder recorded in history. God must be near there trying to destroy marriage. Jesus said in the book of Matthew about divorce, if you divorce your spouse, or if a man divorces his wife, and she remarries, she commits adultery. If a man remarries after divorce, he commits adultery. And I hold to that very strongly because Satan knows ways through sex to destroy the family. And he's doing a very good job of that. He's doing an excellent job of destroying the family. And because of our system today in the courts, and we have no-fault divorce, and 